Hello, this is Professor Stephen Escheba, and I want to show you a little bit about how to make a chart in a spreadsheet. And um, so, just to start us off here, uh, in this case, maybe I want to make a graph of the molecular weight on the x-axis and the total mass of, um, in this case, uh, of, uh, of uh, gas in an Erlenmeyer flask on the y-axis. So I'm highlighting that. Um, it doesn't hurt to include the header on it because uh, that way um, it. The, this spreadsheet won't get confused and it will actually add in those those as labels so it's kind of nice. So after I've highlighted the data that I want to make a graph of I'm going to go to insert and uh, chart and as you can see it's made that graph it's put the molecular weight on this axis total mass on that axis I'm just going to close this so that we can kind of see what that looks like and uh, you know, it's okay, but my problem with this is that uh, the vertical axis has all the, the data sort of compressed way up there, and I want to change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit that chart, and uh, uh, there's this customize option, and uh, it's the vertical axis that I want to change in this case. And as you can see, there's a minimum value and a maximum value. I'm looking at this. looks like a minimum value of maybe 126 would work and a maximum value of 127. Um, that looks pretty good to me. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. Um, the other thing that I want to do is I want to see if I can uh, add a, a draw a line through it. It's called the trend line. And uh, so I'm going to go back to customize. And uh, there's this under series here. You can see that uh, there's an option to add a trend line, and it's done that. And I want to do even one more thing, which is under labels here. I want to show the equation that it got, you know, that generated that line. And that's what this is. So um, it's got the trend line. Uh, it's treating x as that axis, y as that axis, and so the equation for y of x is, uh, you know, if you're familiar with the equation of a straight line, it's y equals mx plus b, so that must be the slope, and that's the y-intercept. 